Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shella and today we are going to try a new kind of build challenge. That's right, I don't really do a lot of build challenges here on my channel, but I asked you all to vote in a poll a couple weeks ago and it was decided that I will do a random aesthetics challenge. So basically what I'm gonna do is spin a wheel and whatever it lands on, that room, I'm gonna have to try to recreate using that aesthetic. Here is the wheel. I added a bunch of popular aesthetics in the year 2023 so hopefully that these are still relevant because it's literally the beginning of 2024 so I feel like these should be recognizable to you guys and every room I'm hoping to get a different aesthetic if I roll like the same one in a row I'll probably just re-spin the wheel I'm very excited for this and if you guys enjoy these types of build challenges let me know down below in the comments so that I can continue making them I really like doing random build challenges so yeah just let me know this is the house I already created the outside of it because I figure like I wanted to mainly focus on the rooms it's pretty small this is our interior floor plan so we kind of have like an entryway here over here I was picturing being like living room and dining room this is our kitchen this is like an office slash hallway to the backyard and then we have a bedroom here a bedroom here and two bathrooms so in a total eight different rooms that we need to randomize I think we'll go ahead and start off in this little hallway right here oh my gosh I'm so nervous I wonder what we're gonna get here we go good luck to me it better be something that's easy to do like it's a hallway right it shouldn't be that hard oh wow we got music that's exciting I might mute that. <laughs> I didn't know there was gonna be sounds. So we got the soft girl aesthetic. Now this is one that I'm less familiar with, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of like pastels and lighter tones. Oh, that's kind of my aesthetic. Now that I'm looking at it, I pulled it up over here. Okay, I don't know why this image is so small and crunchy, but here we go. This is the aesthetic, which I wear a lot of like sweaters and like soft light colors like this. So I don't know. I feel like I could see myself in the style. Oh my God, all of these photos I'm trying to look at are so crunchy. Here's another one that's less crunchy. So yeah, just kind of like soft vibes which I think I can do and it's a hallway so how hard can this be well I guess I'll start by picking my flooring and I want it to be pretty soft should I do carpet <laughs> now that's soft I feel like that would count as soft girl aesthetic honestly I might it feels a little bit weird to have carpet in an entryway or I could just do a nice wood floor and then have a carpet on top of it that might actually work out better for us I'll do this really like light wood color and then I'm thinking like a pastel pinky rug perhaps will probably fit the vibes that we need Okay, you know what? I feel like that's actually perfect and it fits the room perfectly too, which is probably the most important part of this. Now I just have to match like a wallpaper to this rug. Okay, Slay, I feel like that actually looks good. Or maybe I do this like purple color to bring in the purple. Hmm, hold on. Decisions, decisions. I actually really like that. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And what else really would go in a hallway? I guess I can pick a custom light. This is like the easiest room of all. So really starting off with an easy one here. I feel like this glass pink chandelier gives soft girl aesthetic. I'm gonna go ahead and do that that one and I'm thinking maybe we have like a little table over here in pink with like a mirror above it since this is our entryway okay yeah that feels pretty pretty soft girl to me I'm curious to know what you guys think about like how I'm doing by the way so if you have any comments or opinions please let me know because <laughs> I don't think I'm that good at aesthetics this is kind of a challenge for me I feel like the pastel pop kit kind of like is soft girl aesthetic as well so maybe I'll put this up by the door I'm gonna like shrink it by one. Oh, never mind it has a mirror that's against the law there we go we have like our keys in our bag by the door. I think I like these flowers better. I'm gonna go with these flowers. Maybe those candles as well. And then maybe in this corner over here, we just have like a nice plant that takes up a decent amount of space. None of these plants are screaming soft girl to me. I'm not sure. Like none of them feel right. I guess maybe this one. If I'm gonna do any of them. This one looks like physically soft. So it must be soft girl, right? Okay, yeah. I think that's pretty good for our first room here. Pretty simple. Now what room should we do next? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we go with like the main bedroom, right? here. That's kind of exciting. All right, let's spin that wheel and see what we get for the main room. Please be something I know how to do. I'm very nervous about this. Okay. Oh, what is that? Kid core? Oh my God. Are you serious? I have to do a main bedroom in kid core. Ooh, okay. Great. I'm really excited for this. <laughs> Should I just get like a toddler bed? <laughs> oh no. Okay. I have to find something that is so colorful and so fun. Just kind of exciting, I guess, you know? Oh wait, you know what? I feel like this high school, no, this is pastel pop. I feel like this has a lot of great like kid core vibes to it. We could definitely get this to work. I almost want to go with this one right here. And then, oh, I bet I could do like a very fun carpet in here. Should I do it? Yeah, I think I might. I might do like the seafoam green. This is a lot of green. Then I have to find like the most colorful of rugs. I feel like this is really colorful, but it's like too much close to the color palette we already have.
have. I want something to give like a pop of color. I could always just straight up put a splash pad in here. <laughs> that will definitely come across as kid core, right? Ooh, okay, this bowling rug might work. Hold on a second. Got some exciting colors in here. Now, wait a minute. Okay, I feel like I never used that rug. I wonder why. It's got some like fun colors in it. That's kind of funky. I kind of like that. Okay, I also need to choose a wallpaper. Oh my God, is that too much? That's too much, isn't it? I need to chill. But it's kid core, so I have to like let it go. Oh God, it hurts to look at. I want it to be kid core, but I also want it to be like nice looking, you know? Like I'm not trying to make an ugly house. This is such like a green room. Like this is kind of crazy how this is turning out. I need to branch out. Oh wait, maybe that kind of works because it like has some yellow on the bed as well and like the blue on the wall. That's kind of exciting. I kind of like that. We can also bring in some more of the accent colors with some of the curtains maybe, like some oranges and purples. We know how much The Sims loves orange and purple. There's gotta be a lot of curtains that are orange and purple, right? I feel like those purple curtains are too dark though for this. It needs to be lighter. Can I just say something really quick? I don't think that kid core aesthetic is for me. I just want to make that really clear. Like I personally do not vibe with what's happening right now. Okay, you know what? Maybe I just go with rainbows. When in doubt, use rainbows. But, like personally, Shella does not, does not like this. I just want to make that so clear. I don't want people to think like I would choose this because that is absolutely not the case. This looks like a disaster. I think this rug is throwing me off to be honest with you. We need something a little more fun and that just wasn't cutting it. Oh my God, this kind of matches the like the bedspread. I do like a turtle rug. Maybe I can get two rugs. One turtle over here and one turtle over here. That looks kind of weird though. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is hard, you guys. Why did I have to get like the hardest style? Okay, I found a flower rug that I think works pretty well for this. Oh my God, do I use like super kitty like furniture like this? I really could. That might actually be the vibe because it is kid core, right? And this looks very kid core to me. I don't know if this will be functional though because these nightstands are freaking huge. Like, look at how big they are. But that's definitely giving kid to me. And it's like kind of bringing all the colors together too. Right. We also need like a dresser, I would say in this bedroom. Oh, look, we have a matching one. That's really exciting. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, that's actually pretty good because now I don't have to think about it. You see how thick this is though? Like, geez, it does not need to be that thick. Why is she so thick though? I get a penguin TV. <gasps> oh my God. That's super kid core. I love it. So having like a nice flat screen TV in your bedroom, you can watch your shows on a penguin. That sounds really exciting. I would like to go to there. We'll make it purple too. I feel like next up we need like a bookshelf. Oh my God. These scream. These absolutely scream kid core to me. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with that one. And then I feel like a nice comfy chair, but of course, like what if it was a beanbag chair because this is a kid's bedroom, maybe like two. And this can be like the reading corner. I can get like a standing lamp as well. <gasps> the balloon lamp. Oh my God. I love it. I've literally never used this item. It's so bright. Is it always that bright? Or am I just seeing things like that is crazy bright. It's kind of like hurting my eyes to look at. Why is she so bright? Well, there we go. That's exciting. I'm going to do this super fun confetti looking lamp as our overhead lamp. <gasps> I should do like a lava lamp. That seems pretty kid core. Yeah, okay, let's do like different color lava lamps on either side of the bed. The different like colors of lighting are kind of looking cool. And then I feel like we need some like kids toys as well. Let's get like a blurfy in here. Maybe like a stuffed animal on the bed. Oh my God, wait, okay. I said I hated this bedroom, but this is actually really cute. Like I actually kind of love it. I would let one of my Sims live in here. This is really nice. Kind of a sleigh. I'm also just gonna put this dinosaur here because he looks cool and I like him. Oh, and maybe one of these guys. This feels like a fun plushie. You can sit in one of the chairs. Put some flowers on the wall. I never use these rainbow plum bobs, but I think they look really good in this room. And yeah, I'd say that that is like successfully a kid core bedroom. I think I did a good job. Okay, up next, I'm gonna do the bathroom that's attached to this main bedroom. So let's spin that wheel and please give me something that would work for a bathroom. We can do this. I believe in us. Oh, cottage core. Dang it. I wanted cottage core for something like the kitchen or the living room. How do I make a cottage core bathroom? Not to be dramatic, but I feel like this is a waste of cottage core. This is upsetting me. Okay, well, let's start with the tiles. I know for sure I want to do like stone floor, I would say. Something cottagey. I mean, this one comes from like a cottage core kitchen kit. This actually is so pretty though. This one comes from cottage living. Maybe I should do this one. Oh, I kind of love it. Yeah, let's do that. That's kind of fun. Nothing like feeling the rocks and grass between your toes when you're trying to take a shower. Should I make it look like a sky or something in here. I don't know. I might go with this because this comes from cottage living. So it's definitely cottage core, right? And it matches. We got blue. All right. Cottage core tub slash shower. I don't really know. 
I mean, I guess there's this tub that came with Cottage Living. That's not bad. It actually kind of works and I kind of like it. And then there's this like toilet with a wooden toilet seat that gives cottage core energy to me when I think about it. Like you would definitely see this in a cottage. I say as I've never been to a cottage, so I don't actually know, but I'm pretending that I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm making a video. I need to know everything. Yeah. Okay. This is going well. We can have like a nice little mirror. What if we had this like cute little flower moment? That's kind of exciting. It doesn't really come in the colors I need though. And I feel like this werewolf smear is a little bit too big. I guess I'll just do this. This feels pretty cottagey to me. We can definitely make this feel more cottage core with like some decorations and stuff. Just watch. I'm going to pizzazz this place. You're going to be so impressed with me. I'm thinking we put like a broom and a dust pan in here because it just gives that cottage energy. And then maybe some of these like hanging over the tub. I've seen stuff like that before. That seems fine. We also have this like really nice wreath that we could put on the wall here, maybe above the toilet. It just has like cottage vibes. I feel like you understand, right? Like that's cottage energy. Maybe I should do these herbs. I actually kind of like these ones better. They're like a little bit more neat. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm not saying that there would be any wisteria hanging in a bathroom, but also like who's to say that there wouldn't be any wisteria hanging in a bathroom. You know what I mean? Like I'm pretty sure I'm calling the shots here and I'm making the rules. So I can pretty much do whatever I want. It's my build challenge, right? Yeah, I think I deserve that. That feels very overgrown now. <laughs> Definitely not your average bathroom. All right, and maybe I can get like a towel holder here and a toilet roll here. Maybe this can be our like out of the bath towel. Ooh, and then a little radiator. I feel like that is so cottage. This has cottage energy. I don't like that towel though. I'm gonna see if I can find a different one that I like better. Mm. Yeah, maybe like that. So we're like hanging our towel above the radiator to dry. So it'll be nice and toasty for us after our bath. There we go. Okay. Oh, I should redo the light. Definitely need a cottagey light. This is a very cottagey light right here. I'll just hang a couple of these on the wall. These Lily of the Valley sconces. And there we go. Cottage core bathroom. What do you guys think? I think I did a good job. Okay. Up next, I think we're going to do the kitchen, which I'm really nervous about because I wanted cottage core for the kitchen, but we got it for the bathroom. So this could go terribly wrong. Please keep me in your thoughts. I'm not sure what's about to happen. Oh, okay. Grunge. Yeah. Perfect. We're gonna have a stank nasty kitchen. All right. Where <laughs> do I begin? I guess we'll start with the floor. Maybe that will help us get the vibes. I'm almost thinking like an old brick kind of vibe might be nice. We got these weathered stones from the new castle kit and they might be perfect. But I'm gonna keep looking really quick. We also have this from werewolves. So this might actually be a little bit better. I kind of like that a little bit better. And then for the wallpaper. Oh, I feel like I'm not gonna be doing the grunge aesthetic very well. Please don't hate me. I'm trying my best. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not that great. I'll admit it. That's easy to admit that I'm not, I don't think I can do grunge. Okay. We'll have like a, a wooden behind the counters. Do we have any counters that look inherently dirty other than the used Blanco ones? I don't think so. So I guess we're just going to do these ones then. I'm trying to remember if I was going to do the kitchen in here or if I was going to do the kitchen in here now. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think I was going to do the kitchen in here. So I'm going to quickly just move it over to here. I built this like a couple days ago here for this video. So I'm a little bit confused, but I was like wondering what was going on. Okay, easy fix, easy fix. Here we go. This is the kitchen and dining. Yeah, because this has an L-shaped kitchen, which is something I like to do normally. All right, there we go. We got an old beat up nasty looking kitchen. It does make me a little bit sad that everything in here has to be so gross. We could have had it all with the cottage gore. Oh, I'm sad. We literally could have had it all. We're definitely gonna have to add in some like pops of color and stuff because there's like bright colors that come with grunge as well, accompanied with black. So we're gonna need to add some colors to this. I don't know if I'm doing very good with this aesthetic, you guys. I can't tell. I feel like it's not going too well. It's like I know what grunge looks like in my head, but trying to like make it happen in The Sims in a kitchen, it just feels like it's just not working. So I just wanna apologize to everyone who might be watching this, this absolute train wreck. All right, let's get some pops of color going in here. I say as I place a black, microwave. Just that a lot of pops of colors in The Sims are like these pastels. So it just like, it doesn't work because pastel is not the aesthetic we're going for right now. That is for sure. Okay. I'm going into debug because I feel like I need like literal trash, which I definitely know Eco Lifestyle has. I just feel like I need some trash piles. Okay. It's calling to me. You understand, don't you? Don't you? There we go. That's looking a lot better. Actually, this is kind of more the vibes of what I wanted. Just like dirty. I feel like I could have done a grunge living room or something a 
lot better. So I'm having a lot of regrets and a lot of frustrations that the wheel is making my life so difficult. I'm gonna put some like scratches and stuff on the walls, make it feel dirty. There we go. Okay, see, this is already looking like a lot more of the vibes that I wanted. And I just, I couldn't figure out how to do it earlier. And then we also have like this decal here, which is nice. I can, I can use this one as well. Ooh, that looks good. That looks like the chipped paint. Oh, they've got some like mold swatches too. That's kind of wild. And then water damage. Maybe I can put this like behind the stove. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I need to know when enough is enough though, because otherwise this place is going to look really decrepit. It's functional though. Coffee delivery for me. Definitely need some coffee to get through this build. That's for sure. Right, I'm going to do that light there. And then maybe just like a hanging light bulb over here. I don't know. Not my best work, but I think we got across the point that this is a really like disgusting and messed up space here, which was the main goal. Okay, well, moving on to the living room. I'm really hoping I get something I can work with this time because grunge was really hard for me. I don't know why it was so hard. Oh, please, 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 please give me something happy, joyful, kawaii maybe. I don't know. I could do that. E-girl. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I just need to get my RGB gamer lighting and we'll be good to go. All right for the flooring. I'm thinking I just do a nice like dark tile. Oh my god, I just zoomed out and looked at this house. It looks wild. Like this is kind of crazy. And then for the wallpaper, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna have that fun like honeycomb accent wall there. I might actually do this like super neon like magenta color for the rest of the wall. Super quick, by the way, I'm going back and adding some like tarp covering the window really quick in the grunge room. I just realized that I forgot to do like curtains of any kind. My bad. Okay, there we go. Now back to e-girl. Definitely thinking we would have like blackout curtains. So that's kind of what I'm picturing these would be. We could like pull them all the way across there. Oh, and we can probably have like a super nice TV then. Yeah, that looks incredible. And I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take the RGB light strips and put this like under the TV. So that way in live mode, you can have like light shining from behind the TV. But also I kind of want to do these RGB light strips like around the entire room. And if I had a sim here, I would definitely like change the colors of these to be like probably Probably purple, I would say. Oh, they do not like diagonal walls. Wow. I'm gonna have to alt place these. So they're like a little messed up, but we can ignore that. Okay, that already looks really dope. I might have to bring us in here to change the lighting so we can get like the full vibe, you know? Definitely putting this like neon sign right here. This looks sick. I'm way more in my element. I don't know if you can tell, but like I am thriving right now. This is so much more my vibe. There's like so many doors in this place. It's kind of crazy. I might actually make this archway smaller so I can like have some wall space. I I don't know who built this house, what they were thinking, but they are crazy. But I'd like to get like some kind of bookshelf or something in here. I don't think it's possible to get more e-girl than putting these lights under literally everything. Okay, we gotta pick a couch. And there is a couch that I have in my mind's eye right now. This one. This one is like square and geometric. Yes! And then this one kind of looks like it has RGB strip lighting. Does it not? I think that this is like the perfect e-girl gamer couch for us. This is a bit of a difficult room because there's so many like paths of travel here that I have to be careful where I'm putting chairs and stuff. And then I think I just get these like kind of inflatable chairs, a little side chair moment. Then for the TV console, I'm thinking this one right here. We definitely need to get a gaming system here, a console. Oh, that looks so sick. What's the most gamery rug that I have? I'm trying to think. Okay, I have this rug from high school years that I feel like kind of works. It's at least anime and it kind of matches like the colors that this room is. So I think I'm gonna go for it. And maybe we can do this like see-through table so that way you can still see how cool this rug is. Sick. Oh my God, this, okay, this might be my favorite room that we've done so far. I'm gonna put a couple like gamer posters up on the walls over here too. There we go. Those look really cool. Might make them a little smaller though. And then I'm gonna put a couple of these gaming controllers. I think they're supposed to be based after the Xbox. Maybe I'll put them down on this like table right here. I think it looks super cool. Yeah, I would honestly say that this room is done. I don't think we need an overhead light because like the whole room is lit up by the RGB lighting and that's kind of supposed to be like the vibe. So yeah, I I think that looks awesome. Here's the house so far. Ooh, we only have a couple rooms left. We have three rooms left to be exact. What will we get next? Okay, so I moved to sim in and I changed the lighting and I like it. I think it's kind of fun. The walls remind me a bit of a sunset. We got some green in there, some blue. So yeah, I'm really liking the e-girl living room. The next room I want to do is kind of this like hallway slash office. I kind of pictured it as. Maybe I should put a window in here because it feels a little like 
dark. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel to see what we get for this office. I'm hoping it's something easy-ish. I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. This wheel has some scary aesthetics on it. Grunge. Okay, I don't want to do grunge right next to the grunge, so I'm going to spin again. I'm sorry. Spinning. Oh my God, it's grunge again. The wheel wants grunge. No, stop it. Is it rigged? Ooh, okay, vintage. That's kind of exciting to do an office in vintage style. All right, let's see if we can make this work. I'm going to start off with some like nice kind of like hardwood floors, I think. And then for the wallpaper, I'm thinking we do something really fancy. Honestly, this like leaf is kind of calling to me. Ooh, that blue with the gold leaf is really nice. I quite like that actually. It's either that or the pink. I don't know. I can't decide. I think the pink actually makes me happier. Let's find like a vintage desk to put in here. That's pretty ancient looking. Is there one that's like cleaner? Oh, there is. We do have some cleaner looking ones, but like all of the ones with like regular wood tones are kind of like muddy. Oh, but this green, I don't know. This green is like speaking to me. We could probably make this work. This is such like a tall desk. I'm kind of wondering if maybe instead of having the window there, I should put it over here. I can do what I want. It's my house, right? I can move it. And let's get like a nice vintage chair. Is cowhide vintage? I don't know if this is vintage, but maybe like this upholster kind of vibe is vintage though. We've got like a pink upholstered chair. And then I like the idea. There is an emerald green rug that I'm thinking of that will kind of like bring in the color that the desk is. Oh, but it's not exactly the color I'm looking for. So maybe not. Ugh, kind of hard. This is literally called the antique rug. So maybe I should go with this one. Oh, wow. We got some greens on there. Actually, that's kind of nice. I, I quite like this rug. It's just not really a great size, I would say, to use under a desk, but I'm going to make it work there. And then maybe we can have this like the Victorian rug by the door We're wiping our shoes on. I believe there should be like some kind of bookshelf since this is an office. Ooh, that's kind of nice. But also I feel like this kind of feels vintage with like the gold and stuff. Yeah, something about that is speaking to me. I quite like that. And then I'm trying to think of like what would be a vintage decoration. Maybe like, I don't know, this, this lantern kind of gives me vintage vibes because this looks like one of the lamps that they would use to like carry around. It's giving like medieval peasant vibes roaming the hallway, which is like very specific, but I'm hoping you know what I mean when I say that. Also for the PC, I'm thinking we do this typewriter. That is like literally the perfect vintage. Like that is vintage. So I think it, it works out perfectly. And then I think I'm going to put another lamp up here, some nice soft glows. And then perhaps we get some like wall sconces because when I think of vintage, I think of sconces. I'm going to do this nice like pink sconce on the wall right over here. And I believe that this is like lit well enough that it would be bright enough at nighttime. Oh, maybe we can have this like reminiscent like wedding photo on the wall. That's kind of vintage feeling, right? Maybe we can put that like right under the sconce. And I'm just thinking like some nice framed photos would really give the vibe that we're going for. I like the green frame on this one. And then this antique history is literally antique. So I think that it's kind of perfect for the wall. And maybe this like golden sunshine like above the door. I don't know. Just like the brassy tones are giving me vintage vibes. And then last but not least, the curtains. I believe something like this is quite lovely. Maybe even like smaller version of this. I don't know if they're going to have the colors I need though, but maybe that's okay. Or would we have like a full curtain is what I'm trying to decide here, I think. I think maybe we would have a full curtain here. Yeah, I feel like that looks nice. I don't know though. I'm having, <laughs> I'm struggling because maybe these look a little more vintage. Ooh, that green is perfect, but I feel like it's a little bit too much. So maybe I'll go with this like beige color. Yeah, I think that's nice. All right, our vintage office is ready. Let's do this bathroom next. This is kind of like a hallway bathroom. Spinning the wheel of aesthetics. Oh my God, vaporwave. Oh wow, this is gonna be a really different bathroom than the one we already have. This is like futuristic style. So I'm thinking like metal floors, like literally these ones. Oh, this is gonna look crazy, you guys. This is gonna be exciting. I don't think I've ever used these floors and walls in my entire life. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I feel like I should use this hygienic decontamination pod. This is definitely giving me like futuristic vaporwave vibes. I'll go for like the blue one, I think. Oh my God. Oh, I can use the talking toilet and it actually makes sense. Wait, this is really exciting. I feel like we definitely need like more color in here. So I'm going to go with like maybe this blue one. We just need more color in general. And then for the sink, what's the most futuristic looking sink? I mean, this one doesn't look too futuristic, but it's giving me like that colorful and minimalistic vibe. So I think I'll go with this one. What if we did like all of these like lime green colors? This kind of gives me like watermelon energy, like a watermelon bathroom. Wow, this is really something something indeed. Okay. And then I definitely need to get like really cool lights. I believe I might even use some of the lights that I used for the e-girl just because I think they give off like similar vibes, you know, and then I actually have these like floor to ceiling, like vertical lights that I think will give off vaporwave vibes if I can make it work. I don't know. I got to be honest with 
honest with you guys, I'm not that familiar with Vaporwave. So this is a little bit of an experiment for me. So I hope I'm doing you proud. If you're a Vaporwave pro, let me know. <laughs> and then do I get a rug or do I not is the question because I feel like, I don't know if I want to like get rid of the bathroom vibes. I feel like it needs to feel more sterile. So I don't know if I'm going to do a rug. Oh, but some of these rugs give Vaporwave energy. Okay, I'll put that in there. I think that that's a good rug. Okay, and then when I add the lights in, I feel, I don't know. Is this Vaporwave? Did I do it? Let me know. I feel like it looks pretty cool though. Okay, and our final room we have here is the other bedroom, which I picture this being a kid's bedroom. So we'll have to see what theme we get for this. Or should I say aesthetic? Here we go. Spinning the wheel. Where it stops, please make it something easy. Oh, okay. Indie. Great. So what I wish had happened is we got Indie for this room instead of this room. But you know what? It's okay. It will work. I think it will work. I feel like the high school years has a lot of Indie themed items. There's actually a bed that I'm like picturing right now. This one right here. And I feel like Indie is a lot more colorful than I remember it being. So I don't think this is going to be as hard as I'm thinking. Honestly, I might just do the same carpet over here. But is, that might be a little boring. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do wood flooring and we can just have like a fun rug instead. I'm thinking very rainbow with lots and lots of like posters and clutter on the walls. Like I'm literally meaning like covering the walls. We're gonna have like a whole collection up here. And also I think scattering like a couple of these neon signs in between would be good. Although they are kind of big. I might have to like shrink the signs down a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty sick so far. I actually really like that. And I'm thinking this like bejeweled chandelier kind of fits the room as well. There's so many pretty colors with this one. I feel like I should use this chandelier more. I definitely don't use it enough. Okay, I definitely need to like place down main furniture before I keep cluttering so that I can make sure we have enough room for everything. But I am definitely not done cluttering yet. Let's do like a big wardrobe over here. Ooh, that purple's kind of fun. I actually really like the purple. I think I'm gonna stick with it. And then we need a desk over here. Here. I'm just gonna make it purple to match the dresser. Oh man, what would an indie PC be? I don't know. Maybe I'll actually just do this tablet instead. They can take it wherever they want. I feel like we need more of these like CDs and posters and stuff over here. Maybe this person is an artist. But yeah, I definitely get like the idea that most of their wall is in fact like literally covered. I might even do like wood paneling there as an accent wall. I actually really like how that looks. Ooh, and for the curtains, I think we do something kind of whimsical like this. Okay, yes, I, I quite like that. I think that's nice. And yeah, I like the idea of them being an artist. So maybe we set up like a little painter's corner over here for them. I'm trying to remember. I think I think it's in base game. It's like a really hard item for me to find. It's like a miscellaneous clutter item. I feel like I can never find it when I'm looking for it. It's like this little cabinet that has paintbrushes on it and stuff. I wonder misc surfaces. Gosh, I can't remember. Is it not base game? Oh my gosh, I'm like never gonna find it. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Oh, here it is. It's under statues. Yeah, so it's this like artist supplies tray right here. Like how the heck am I supposed to find that when it's under statues? I feel like statues is not the place I would put that. And then I think I think we would have like a couple like comfortable booths to sit on maybe or some chairs even like maybe right here and then maybe in this corner we have some space for a mirror and then last but not least we definitely need like a side table here so i don't know if i want one that's that big i feel like a lot of the nightstands in the sims 4 are like freaking massive and it's like it's not that deep it doesn't need to be that big why are they all so big with a little salt rock lamp maybe an emotional support water bottle and and some tissues. Yeah, I think this looks nice. Like maybe we have some perfume on the desk. Maybe also like art supplies since we already established they really like art. So I can give them like a drawing tablet and stuff. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. I actually quite like that. I think it's really pretty. Ooh, one last thing that we're missing though. Very important touch here. Definitely some string lights. I feel like string lights are like a staple of this aesthetic. And then I feel like maybe a plant or two. There we go. I think that's actually pretty good. I quite like that. Oh my God, zooming out and like looking at this house all together is kind of wild. Like, I don't know. I feel like these two rooms kind of go together, the kid core and the indie. But other than that, like the rest of these rooms look wildly out of place for sure. I'm just going to add some like outdoor lights really quick and maybe a tree or two just to give it some clutter, fix the mailbox and also add some bushes in the front just so it doesn't look like, I don't know. I feel like the front of the house looks a little naked without some bushes in the front. And there we go. Also, please ignore my bald sim himself. Look, I can explain. But other than that, let's go ahead and go on a little bit of a tour. Welcome to our aesthetics home. Honestly, it looks really nice from the outside. Like I actually quite like it. All right. We walk in our front door and we have our soft girl entryway, which yeah, I feel like this is very soft girl aesthetic. It's very 
pretty empty, but like what else are you gonna put in an entryway, right? And then immediately to the left, you see our grunge kitchen, which I don't know if I fully nailed grunge. I feel like I would have liked to have a little bit more of like not just trash in here, but I don't know. Whenever I think of grunge, I think of the werewolf pack and everything in the werewolf pack is broken. So I don't know. I just went for destroyed and abandoned. I don't know if I did that great with this one. And then over here, we have our e-girl living room, which I think I nailed the e-girl living room. I think it looks really cool and I would definitely want to like hang out in this living room. And then over in this direction, we have our vintage office space, which again, I think I did a really good job with the vintage office space. And I'm happy that I used some bright colors so it wasn't just like old and like beige feeling. And then over here, we have our main bedroom, which is kid core. Again, I think I nailed this kid core bedroom as well. Like we got plushies, we got rainbow colors everywhere. I just think all around this definitely screams kid core. And then this is our cottage core bathroom, which, okay, the wisteria looks a little bit cursed in first person mode, but I promise it looks like way better <laughs> whenever you're overhead. Yeah, this is our cottage core bathroom, which it kind of feels whimsical and nice in here, but also really dark. And then going back out here, we have our other bathroom, which is vaporwave. I, you know, when I think of vaporwave, I think of futuristic. So hopefully you get like futuristic vibes. I mean, there's literally a talking toilet. So come on. I feel like I did an okay job with this. And then last but not least, we have our indie bedroom, which I went for an entire wall covered in stuff, which I think that this actually looks great. So we got like an easel in the corner. We got a nice desk area, a little sitting area with a mirror. So yeah, I think overall we kind of slayed this aesthetic challenge. Let me know in the comments down below which type of build challenge you'd like me to try next. There were a couple other options on the poll, like every room is different size, every room's different color, every room's a different budget, stuff like that, because I really had a fun time making this video. And if y'all enjoy it as well, then I can definitely do another one. I'm going to go ahead and upload this build on the gallery. If you wanted to play in it, I don't know why you would, but you know, every room is a different aesthetic build challenge. Spoilers, it's on the gallery. So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I do create a lot of Sims content. So feel free to stick around, check it out and subscribe for more. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment as well. But until next time, I love you all a lot and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.